Jennifer from Belladonna's Botanicals and I wanted to talk today because I get a lot of questions about um, offerings to um, different deities and spirits that people work with. And wow, my ring light is literally set to the lowest possible setting and I have the lights off and I'm ghosting out <laughs> already. Um, I wish they made a ring light for like really pale people, but I digress. So when it comes to offerings for any of the entities you work with, whether they're demons, angels, gods, goddesses, ancestors, spirit guides, anything, go, my advice is go with what works for you. Um, like what I might offer Lucifer might not be what you would offer Lucifer. Like I work predominantly with Lucifer, so I'm gonna use that as the example, mostly. Um, but sometimes it, it's not necessarily having to, you know, go out and buy something or, you know, however you're working with that entity and the type of work you're doing is going to sort of determine based on your relationship with that entity, what kind of offerings you would need or want to make. Um, now, I try to look at it from the perspective of, you know, not being ableist about it because, you know, if you have mobility issues, you know, they're not going to ask you to, you know, climb Mount Everest or something. Or, you know, even when doing rituals and things like that, like I have, I have some, I have chronic pain and stuff. So for me doing you know, rituals that require a lot of up and down activity and things like that, I can't do that. Um, you know, I am not personally drawn to or would ever feel comfortable doing animal sacrifice on my own, um, of my own volition. It's just not something I'm interested in. And none of the entities I've worked with would have required that. Now that might work for some people. I have, you know, if that's, you know, I mean, there's legalities and stuff involved depending on where you're at. But that's just not, that's not something that I feel drawn to do, to do. Now, offerings can be anything. It's just lighting some incense for that spirit. Or doing, like, in my relationship and working with Lucifer, a lot of it is my own journey of self-discovery and healing. So when I do acts of self-love and self-care for myself, that's part of my offering to Lucifer. I know that sounds a little like, well, you know, you're buying yourself a bath bomb. How is that? But, you know, that's my relationship with Lucifer. You might feel drawn to, to make offerings of something else. It doesn't necessarily, oh, because I offer Lucifer roses doesn't mean you need to offer, you need to offer Lucifer roses. That just means in my workings with Lucifer, roses always come up for me. So that is something that I'll, I'll commonly offer. Um, and usually I get a little in the back of my head. Like if I happen to walk into a store and I'm like, got to buy some roses today. I'm like, I know why I have to buy some roses today. I'm not just going to, you know, buy myself a dozen roses for no reason. Um, so it really comes down to it. And if it's something, you know, you're working on now, I have, um, I work with uh, several different entities on, uh, money magic and wealth and prosperity and abundance magic regularly. So I, uh, I work with Mammon, Suntalak, uh, Lucifuge, Rafael, Bune, and Clownick. So I have on, in my space in which I do my, my money magic and stuff like that, I have um, a really beautiful uh, black vintage glass. Um, I should it's downstairs unfortunately so I can't show it to you right now but um, maybe I'll put a picture in or something but so you, know, you take the lid off it's a, a glass sort of probably like a candy dish or something like that it's on like a little pedestal it's very beautiful but you know I put all my my money my offerings that are in there for wealth things so um that can be herbs that could be you know some drops of oil um sometimes I put you know uh, some coins or dollar bills, uh, things of that nature, like my business card, since it's business related, different crystals. Um, I think I have some gold flake in there, things like that. I put in there what I'm drawn to put in there. 
and sometimes and I add to it over time and you know I've always I used to kind of have like a money bowl and then it sort of evolved from that over the years because I've had that for a couple of years now and um yeah like cinnamon sticks bay leaves uh you know write like some intentions on things and put them in there so that's something that I do um I work with crystals a lot so a lot of times I use crystals so I have you know uh Actually, my Lucifer altar is behind me. It's a little dark in here, but like I have, um, because for me, working with Lucifer is like smoky, like the really dark, nice, natural, uh, smoky quartz points are something I associate with Lucifer and my workings with Lucifer. So I have a lot of things with roses and smoky quartz around on my Lucifer altar. So that's something that I do for that. Like with uh, working with Hecate, I have um, a yeah, I use several like antique keys and prisms for some reason because I think one of the or first times I worked with her, yeah, I was kind of like, how can I honor you? And she asked for prisms. So, um, the, the, the key here to think is that, you know, the spirits really aren't going to ask you for things that are, you know, outside your, your realm of being able to do it. Except for Abaddon, who asked for 32 pairs of Christian Louboutin shoes. But, hey, I have two pairs now, so getting there. Um, only 30 more to go. Hmm. Um, but, you know, it's th that was a treat to me. Um, but it was also, when I first started, it, it was... Because I think in, in, I don't even, I have to go back and watch the video and look at my notes on why that, that came up. Um, but it was, I was like, like, Christian Louboutin, these are designer shoes. These are really freaking expensive shoes. Like, you, know, you think I can afford, you know, 32 pairs of, you know, $1,100 shoes? It's like, oh, but you will. I'm like, well, at least I was able to afford, like, two. Well, well one of them wasn't that much. But anyways, <laughs> that aside, um, you know, it, it's... It's about developing the relationships with these entities and stuff. And as you develop that relationship, you'll know what to offer them. Like, I know when I work with the Zazel, for whatever freaking reason, I need to have cinnamon mini donuts on hand. I don't know why. Loves the cinnamon mini donuts. That might, that, that, that might make no sense to other people who work with a Zazel. But for me, it does. Um, sometimes it's music. Belial loves some heavy metal. And anything that's, you know, kind of stick it to the man, a little bit of punk rock, a little bit of sass, you know. Um, it's different things, and it's it's going to be different for every single person. So it's hard to say definitively, like, oh, you know, give this spirit some sandalwood incense. That You know, that might work for you, that might not work for me. I might hate the smell of sandalwood, you know. It, it's working within your what 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 you, what your relationship is with that like you know for working with mammon um he's associated with gold so you know i don't i particularly don't wear a lot of gold jewelry um so i mean if anything I maybe have some gold plated jewelry or some yellow you know cheaper stuff um so you know i bought at some point um a very small pe like gold nugget as an offering to mammon Prior to that, I had used other things um, in that. Um, so it's what works for you. And you might work up to something like that. Like, oh, I want to make a, a really, you know, nice offering. But, you know, hey, maybe I can't buy, you know, a fancy $400 piece of you know, crystal or something like that. Or a carved crystal or whatever. Um, so, you know, work your way up. I mean, it can be chocolate. It can be it's just going to depend on your relationship with them. So when you're working with these spirits and, and look at the types of things you work with them on, um, or in general in your life, um, it's, it's really going to vary for, from person to person. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's really no definitive, you know, right or wrong answer here. Like, uh, you know, if I offer Lilith chocolate, that's cool. Um, you know, I do a little bit of like blood offerings. Y'all yeah, use the little uh, finger pricker thing, uh, the diabetic lancet, and you know, anoint like statue or crystals or whatever. 
Um, you can use ritual oils to, as an offering, like, you know, on your statues, you can burn a candle, you know, anything like that is honoring and can be seen as an offering to an entity. Now, some people kind of look at it now, taking it on the terms of sacrifice. <coughs> so sacrifice doesn't mean that you have to go out and lop the head off a chicken. If it, but again, if that's part of your practice, no shame in that. It's just not for me. Um, but sacrifice can also be giving something up or doing better, um, changing your ways, learning, um, something that involves a lot of work and development and anything in that that could be considered a sacrifice like maybe you're working to be healthier so you decide to quit smoking that could be a sacrifice you've got those different elements of whether you're sacrificing something whether you're doing self-development whether you're giving a physical op object or anything as an offering um it's it's really going to vary so i mean i can tell you you know sure you know these are the th the correspondences or whatever for this entity, or this is, um, in my experience, what I've offered to them. It's going to be different for everyone, and that's that's the best I can tell you uh, as far as what kind of offerings to make. Um, some people are very formal about things. Some people are very informal about things. Um, I know sometimes people when they, when when you're you're new to the path and you're jumping in head first, you want to have all the right answers and do everything right, and it does take some trial and error for things. Um, I had some ritual music on once, and Bilal was like, "This is like stuff old goth couples make out to. Can you not like?" I was like, "All right, we don't like this kind of music. All right, let's let's change it to something else." Um, but, I mean, a lot of times there's different food food items they like. And sometimes it's, it's almost, like if I have, like I mentioned with the Zazel, with the cinnamon mini donuts, um, why he likes them, I don't know. But it's even if I'm eating it, it's almost like he's experiencing it through me. So it's not like I have to leave a pile of cinnamon donuts on my altar and hope that I don't get ants or that my cats don't knock everything over trying to eat the cinnamon mini donuts because, let's just face it, cat, my cats will do, well, Cory will do that. Mm, doesn't care. But, um, you know, just as you're working through, just kind of find what works for you. I mean, start small. You know, burn a stick of incense. See how that works for you. Um, you know, you may decide to make like an offering bowl and put different things in there. Um, whether it's a pact or a petition or a, an intention of something you want to manifest, um, using, you know, sigils and seals and things like that. You can put your, your botanical correspondences in there. Like for Lucifer, I put roses in there. I put smoky quartz in there. I'd put, um, maybe a, a sigil medallion or something like that. So that's what I do. Um, and that's what I would recommend. Just, you know, uh, work on developing a relationship with that entity, with whomever they are. And these things will become more, more evident as, as you work with them. You're not going to know all this on day one. I sure shit didn't. And they may change. Azazel may decide he wants powdered donuts next time. Though I did have powdered donuts once. He did not seem to be into them as much. So, um, yeah. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to get to answering some, a lot of the questions and comments I get and messages I get from clients and customers and subscribers, you know, so because this information will be beneficial to hopefully more than one person. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and see you later.